Hello everybody, this is CJ Wiley of More Adventures on the Road. I'm out here uh, right on the point where Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee all meet together. There's a uh, plaque out here that uh, says that. And uh, check this out. Came to a stopping point. Uh, it's kind of creepy out here. I was told it was, and my phone has been acting up and uh, didn't really want to take me here. I had to put it in my navigator like four or five times and it keep, kept blanking out. <laughs> it's kind of strange, but uh, I hiked all the way in here. Starts out at a cemetery and just keeps getting creepier. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I like it. These leaves out here are so brittle and dry that it amplifies sound. So uh, when I first got out, I pulled up beside the... Uh, cemetery and there's no signs to this place so uh, I just kind of had to hike around and find it even though uh, my navigator did take me to the cemetery but you're on your own after that and then there's another sign as you get in that uh, the point is 250 feet ahead I think what it says <clears throat> but um, of course when I got up to the cemetery and got out I was getting some stuff out of my car and kept hearing these loud sounds I don't know if you've ever heard like uh, one time I was in my uh, RV at a lake and it was like this and outside I heard sounds like it was a bear or something I mean it kind of spooked me a little bit <laughs> but uh what it ended up being was a possum. But when they walk in those uh, leaves, it's really, really loud. There's a lake over here. Again, it's so still and uh, it really has a surreal feel to it. So, uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of these videos that I'm starting to touch on the deepest levels of pool. See, one thing about learning, and especially uh, certain books, and uh, you know, I learned it in martial arts and studying ancient manuscripts, you know, it's true in golf, tennis, and pool, and stuff like that too. There's three levels of learning and communication. There's a physical level, there's a mental level, and there's a deep level. Some people call it, wow. <laughs> I'm ready. Never know what might jump out. But, um, so the deepest level, you know, some people could call it spiritual level. Uh, you know, in the ancient manuscripts that they put together to create the Bible, it's uh, written in three levels. That's why there's so much controversy, because they stress the physical level and some the mental level. But the deep level is where the information really is. And it's like guarded, I was told, at the beginning by a scholar it's written in a cipher so it's not for everybody to understand you have to decipher it and that's the way I've discovered a lot of these pool techniques I think I took a wrong turn that's all right um, because there's a physical level that's all over the internet you can see that every day till your till your ears burn then there's a mental level 
that's a lot better. But then there's the deepest level. And, uh, and there's a physical deep level. And there's a mental deep level. So, uh, I'm not trying to be confusing or anything. I'm just trying to, uh, to describe what I'm getting ready to start sharing in these videos. Because once your mind can get through the physical, mental, to the deepest level, you're going to find a world that you may not have realized existed. A dimension far, far away. It's not far out. You know, I learned this uh, through a various amount of studies, neurolinguistic programming, silver mind control, uh, especially the biblical stuff is uh, extremely strong, but it takes... It took me a thousand hours of hard study, two and a half hours a day, under a scholar that was fluent in Greek, Hebrew, Chaldean, Aramaic, to start to unlock what they say the mysteries that have been kept hidden since the foundation of this world age. And uh, again, this might sound far out, but if you're watching me, you probably, you know, have an open mind and and understand that. You know, I'm very curious, and I'm a uh, uh, dedicated researcher and have been for over 30 years when I first met uh, Dr. George Merkel, who was a nuclear physicist and microbiologist. He's the one that started to teach me that what was going on uh, in the world wasn't as it appeared. It wasn't as we were being told. And again... I understand why. Once you understand how it all connects, you know, the mysteries start to reveal themselves. I always uh, use the example of when I was with one of the best card players in the world, and he could do some things that were uh, unreal with cards. He, he made me never want to play cards again. I still think poker might have been my best game, but I will not play it. I can't stand listening to him fiddle with those chips anyway so not a big deal but I've got a lot of uh, friends that uh, are professional poker players as a matter of fact the man that runs the uh, World Series of Poker for the last I think 14 years is uh, Jack Ethel who started out working for me uh, when he was actually underage he never told me that we were sitting in front of Daniel Negrano's place we were going to go in and I was going to shoot some pool with Daniel He's a champion poker player, and you may, uh, I think Poker Stars was his uh, sponsor that he was representing, but he's a really great guy, really into health and into a lot of the same stuff I am. He's into neurolinguistic programming and understands and studies the mind. I think a lot of poker players do. They have to. They have to be able to calibrate nonverbal communication, including eye access patterns, and that's what I do a lot when I'm watching interviews uh, with things that are happening in the news, I don't pay attention to the story as much as I watch the characters and calibrate, especially their eye access patterns, their tonality. And uh, quite honestly, most of them are just terrible actors, you know. They, they wouldn't be able to make it uh, in Hollywood. <laughs> but uh, who would want to make it in Hollywood, really? That's another story. So, uh, anyway... Oh, I got to get through. <laughs> One more look. That tree looked like it was a barrier. Like, beware if you go past this place. Again, uh, I got friends that give tours of haunted houses down in New Orleans. And uh, we went out and uh, I saw some very peculiar things and heard some very peculiar things. Still haven't ever seen a ghost. I always told people in pool... The day that I actually see a ghost is the day that I might start using the ghost ball. <laughs> but until then, I'm going to aim at something real. And uh, so I have my own uh, suspicions of what these ghosts actually are. I'm not saying there isn't supernatural things going on. Not at all. I am saying that they've been reframed and reclassified. And uh, like a Ancient Aliens is, is an example. That's a really good show but but they basically reframe things that have been around for thousands of years that have been written about and uh, so anyway 
back to the deepest structure. Like I said, the uh, poker players use it. The pool hustlers definitely use it. Again, not that they can explain it. Here's, here's a sign. And there is the cemetery. <laughs> you wanna walk through the cemetery? I wonder if that's cool. I don't think we'll raise the dead, will we? Imagine that, the first time I see a ghost is uh, why I'm with you guys on, uh, on video. That would be extremely strong. Let me see, there's no, no trespassing or anything. Okay. All right, in all respect, may I pass through? You gotta ask permission before you enter anyone's house. But, uh, got the lake over there. It's really beautiful. There again, it's a little bit eerie. A little bit on the creepy side, but hey, you only live once, right? <laughs> we feel all kinds of emotions, so, uh, it's nice to at least control them ourselves. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to share some of my deepest knowledge. I have lots and lots of videos, and, and I have people that contact me wanting me to explain this stuff, you know, like what I learned in uh, Canada and what I learned from being around Efren Reyes and Earl Strickland, and especially like Omaha John, Dalton Leone, Junior Weldon, uh, Rusty Brandemeyer, uh, some of the greatest, Brad from Cleveland, I think his, uh, one of his relatives has contacted me, you may be even watching this video, Brad was a great guy, very smart, drove that orange van, I'm going to tell a good story about that one of these days, but um, they taught me a lot, but I can't, I can't put it in writing, I mean, I could write a whole book about it, I just don't have time, and I really don't have, uh, I don't have the ambition to do that because everything's going towards video and, and the attention spans of people are, are not very, uh, you know, lengthy, let's just say. And that's, I think, all by design, socially engineered. Um, you know, you can either look like, you know, at the world, like, like everything's under control of some kind and that everything happens for a reason. Or you can think it's all just random coincidences. I personally don't believe in coincidences. So that has always spurned me to, uh, and actually like driven me with a burning desire to get to the bottom, the deepest level of what's going on. And uh, I would highly recommend, suggest that uh, in this day and age that you do the same to whatever your ability, whatever time you have, you can make it to learn. You know, we all have things that we're doing that uh, take up time. But uh, Dalton Leone told me a long time ago, he said, CJ, always invest in yourself, invest in your knowledge and your understanding because nobody can ever take that away. They can take your money, they can take your business, they can take your car, your girlfriend and your wife, and but they cannot take your knowledge, wisdom, understanding, discernment, all of this increases with practice. It gets stronger and stronger. The, the mind is actually like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. I don't care how old you are. I've got some brilliant friends that are older than I am that say their thinking and thought processes and ability to, uh, you know, de decode, decipher, whatever you want to say, uh, is better than ever, and I can say the same. I'm definitely at a much, much, much higher level than I was 10 years ago, and quite honestly, three years ago, I was uh, way under what I am now because I didn't have a whole lot of things that I really had a burning desire to learn. Once this uh, situation that we're in revealed itself, I took the components of what they were talking about and studied every single one of them. 
And uh, what I found, I did not know to start with. As a matter of fact, I had to do a complete 360 or 180, I guess you'd say, on, um, on several issues that I thought for sure I knew. But the quickest thing and the quickest way uh, to keep developing is when you're wrong, promptly admit it and uh, take the new information and keep going forward. Anyway, I am out of time. If you want to know more about my techniques, pool systems, and whatnot, go to www.cjwiley.com. Till next time, CJ, over and out.